What's going on guys, Sero here, and in this video I'll be showing you guys the next part of my Jet Guide series. I've been immortal for quite some time now, and by basically playing mostly Jet. Today I'll be going over the map Haven. If you guys uh, haven't seen the other Jet Guides, then make sure to go check them out. They'll be linked in the description, and I have a whole playlist for them. So without further ado, let's get into the video. If you're watching this video, I assume you know the basic ability usage of Jet. Here I'll be going over more specific and advanced strategies and tricks you need to know to win your games. You should be able to benefit from this video whether you're Iron or Radiant. First I'll be going over all the ways to entry onto sites. So before I start I want to mention two quick things that I've mentioned in the other videos for the jet guides but this is like really important so if you haven't watched those then just like you have to know this. So the first thing is that if you dash normally right here you don't go as far as if you jump dash. So as you can see, it's like a, a few meters difference, so it's like worth noting. And also if you updraft, normally, let's, let's see, like, let's say I go this high, right? I hit this. What if I jump updraft? I go a little bit higher. So when doing some of the old spots, uh, always press jump and updraft at the same time. Let's start on A. So for A site, generally I like going long because you could just dash and clear any uh, cypher trips that are like close. And I don't really like going sewer or short because there's like really no good spot to dash like this is kind of awkward like right here it's like I don't know it's just I just feel like long is just a lot better option so the first thing I like doing is if you haven't if you don't have a omen smoke right here if your omen died or anything you could just aim at the middle of this of the window like right here you just aim in the middle and just throw your smoke and they should just stall for the meantime and you can just push sight and they won't be able to see you but the only problem is that it takes some time for the to travel. So if you're in like higher elo, you will most likely die while you're throwing your smoke because you're in the open while throwing it. So a good lineup for heaven window is just like, you want to stand like a little bit further back and just aim at this brown window thing, whatever. And you want to move your cross here until it hits this blue part of this drawing on the wall. So this should perfectly smoke off uh, heaven. And it should help you like push sight for the meantime while it's like, smoked off. And when you're pushing sight, the first way I like entering is just by smoking default box and like dashing and then just peeking back sight. But like what's important is that when you dash, you want to look to the right side to clear anybody uh, that could possibly be camping in that corner. So you could just dash and look to the side really quickly. Um, as you can see, if I just dash right here. I could clear it without actually dashing sideways. You just kind of want to flick your mouse, basically, like that. So here's what it should look like in full speed. The other way to entry is just by uh, updrafting on top of right here. You could just updraft here. And this is really useful if one of your teammates are fighting in sewer and short you could just get on top of the, the enemy that's usually going to be standing right here just watching this so you can get a free kill what's important though is you want to smoke this box right here when you're updrafting and it should help you uh clear it the, the reason for this is because if there's somebody camping behind default right here if you just updraft it's a free kill for them and they're not even exposed too long but if you throw a smoke right here they actually can't see you and they have to walk out really wide to be able to see you and they're probably gonna get killed by your teammates and when you're updrafting up here, it is pretty good to start farther back. Because if you start really close right here, you're going to go way too high. But if you start farther back and you crouch, you're going to basically land almost instantly. And you should be able to like kill your enemies before they could react. If you want, you could even uh, sit up here and, and kill anybody. Now it's like pushing CT or pushing uh, heaven. So it's pretty good. When pushing B, you almost never want to peek out of window because you're just exposed to too many angles, like garage, right here, right here, right here, anybody standing up, up there as well. So you're just exposed to way too many angles, you can get killed really easily. And even if you have better aim, you're just at a huge disadvantage because all they have to do is aim at one spot. They literally just have to be holding their crosshair right here and it's a free kill for them, especially if they're standing up here. Um, they're gonna win like 99% of the time. Even if you're like higher ranked than the enemy players and you're like really confident, I still don't recommend taking this fight because you're just at a huge disadvantage and you're going to lose more times than you win. But what's better is going grass. If you want, you could smoke right here um, just by aiming at like this the top of it so like so they don't push out of garage. And then you could just peek below right here. You could peek above. You could peek close left. 
and you can clear cubby, push out. And what I like doing is uh, one way smoking uh, the both entrances. I don't want like you don't want to aim like too high because if you aim like this, Dick, it's like not even that good because they could just like see it from back here. So what I recommend is aiming at the bottom of the doorway, like this part right here. You can just control it and like move it up and it's like a lot better because they can't really see us on site and if they push out it's like a one way they can see their feet and they're gonna be like pretty kill so when you're pushing b it's important to plant in this corner right here because this is the best spot to plant and the reason this is so good is because first of all you're behind cover when you're planting second of all it's a really easy to hold from window it's really spammable because they can only diffuse if they're like in this small radius that the bomb is planted and it's really easy to spam, like if you just mark it, you're gonna be able to like, kill them. A lot of people plant right here, and this is like a lot worse. Because as you're planting it, somebody could easily push out of A link or C link, and they could kill you. Like you're a lot more exposed. And it's also worse for holding it, because it's easier for them to defuse, because they could just be on like one of the sides. Like, so a lot of pros plant right here, and I recommend you guys do the same. So as for garage, the, um, you always want to have a smoke for a window, because it's like really almost impossible to take garage if somebody could be peeking it from either side. So I have this like little lineup. Usually I don't like doing lineups, but this is like one worth remembering because it's like really important if you don't guys don't have an omen or don't have smokes. So all I have to do is just aim in the middle of this box right here and move your crosshair to the middle of this wall. And this should perfectly smoke off window and uh, this should help you push. When pushing, I recommend just updrafting the top of the here. And this is like really good because if your teammates are below here and they peek window, you guys have a pretty good crossfire. They can't like kill both of you guys at once. So either you're, you're gonna get the kill or he's gonna get the kill and it's usually pretty easy to get the kill. And if anybody runs out of garage over here, you could uh, shoot them in the back and get a kill. And what I recommend is if you guys kill the person garage, I just recommend dashing forward and picking off any rotators from B or CT. Um, it should be like pretty easy to get a kill because they're gonna, most likely gonna have their knife out. Like you just get a kill, smoke it, and then go help your teammates on C. So pushing C is rather easy. Uh, you kind of just want to have a smoke right here. Uh, you want you could control it like that. And this like blocks any information because if, if there's somebody standing right here and they see like five people huddled around this area, they're gonna the, all the other enemies are gonna insta rotate. This smoke just like delays like information, and they're gonna be like a little bit more hesitant. It also helps you clear cubby if anybody's camping here. But for actual sight when you're pushing, you want to smoke, uh, like the default box right here. here. And you want to aim, uh, like you want to dash, but you want to clear close left. Like you want to go like this, so you could clear for anybody's camping here. So it should look like this. So after you are in the smoke, and you want to always walk out from the right side. Because from the right side, you just clear uh, logs and you clear close right. You walk, you clear CT, clear back sight clear platform and if you want to uh, you can actually push out of the smoke and get a kill like from B you could dash away but what you don't want to do is walk out from the left side so if I walk out from the left side over here and I'll be looking back side because there's gonna be somebody probably like right here the problem with this is that first of all I'm like kind of in the open but what's really the problem is I can get, I can get shot from CT and I can get shot in the back so for planting on C you never want to plant right here this is like a really bad spot Maybe like rare situations when you guys are getting like really pushed and you just want to get the plant money. But if you want to have a successful round, you just always want to plant right here and then this like spot planted for long. And the other spot that's like pretty good is back here uh, because it's really easy to spam. So these two are the spots that I recommend. And what's also pretty good is you, if you want, you could just updraft to make noise and the enemy team will be confused because everybody here, we're going to hear an updraft. And they're going to take their time because they're going to want to clear every single box because they're suspecting that you're going to be on top of one of them. But you obviously don't want to be sitting up here because this is a bad spot. You get pushed from garage, pushed from CT. If they arrow, so what arrow over here, you're basically dead. So you just want to like updraft just to like make them confused. However, this spot right here is actually pretty good because you could watch garage without getting shot from CT. And it's like on elevation, it's like an off angle. And when you want to switch, if you want, you could just one-way smoke garage and then peak CT, get a free kill. And if you want, you could aim at this bar right here, throw a smoke. Should be another good one-way. You can just keep switching, holding garage, 
uh, and then peeking back CT. So it's like a rather good spot. And it's also really good because you could just uh, dash away. You're able to like, get away uh, really easily into log. Also, I forgot to mention this, but you could actually get from the logs onto here without using an updraft. Like I know I should an updraft, but you could just do that with any character. It's not only just specific, you could just literally just jump up here and like do what I was uh, talking about earlier. So for defending on A, there's like a lot of spots you could hold, which is like the main reason I play A so much as uh, Jet on defense. So the first thing I like going is um, like before the round starts, you could go on top of these boxes. And what you could do is you could just jump and glide on top of the default box over here. And then you could just glide on top of the super box. And it's pretty good because you could just walk back a little bit and just hold. And really nobody will be able to clear you because when they're walking up, they're gonna like hug the left wall and they're gonna look right side and you're not even in their vision. To be able to see you, they have to go uh, on the right wall and look straight up right here. And nobody really does that. They're just gonna clear right and they're gonna push sight. And at this point, if, uh, I like doing a pistol round with like a frenzy. And what I do is I um, just like sit back and once they push, just peek right here, get a kill. And then I just smoke and like dash away and I play retake with my team. So it's not only good on pistol, but it's like what I recommend. It's pretty good and um, it's like good with like save weapons because it's like a pretty good angle to hold. You, you could play long if you have an op, you just kind of hold like this, it's a pretty common angle. And if they end up smoking it, if they just throw a smoke like here, like a cypher cage, you just kind of want to hug this wall and look at the left side of the smoke because they usually just walk out to the side. And if they push forward, you could just like flick down and get a kill. And this orb is also pretty good. You just want to aim at this uh, stair right here at the bottom stair in the middle of it. You just want to throw a smoke here. It should like block it off pretty well. You could uh, get your orb for the round and I recommend doing this like almost every round. And what else is pretty good is if you want, you could hold sewer from over here. And n like this is like a pretty free kill because uh, they, they're usually not gonna react in time to kill you. You could just get a kill and like dash away. So those are the spots that I like playing on A. So there's two main spots on B that I like holding. Uh, the first one is up, up right here in this corner with like an op or like a rifle and it doesn't really matter. And if anybody swings grass, it's like a free kill because most of the time when they peek this, they're going to be looking at the bottom while you're standing up here with an op and you can get a free kill most of the time. The other spot that's pretty good is on top of this shield uh, box or whatever. And you could, from here, you could watch window. This is like for watching window, basically. The reason that this is good is because if you're standing in the middle right here and you're watching window, you could get pushed from anybody grass and you're gonna die. But if you just wanna solely watch window, uh, this is like a, the spot for, for doing it because you're not exposed to anything else. On garage, um, I usually like playing garage if I have like a Bucky or a shotgun or like in a save round, basically. I like going in this, against this wall right here in this uh, C hallway. And this is like around 13 to 14 meters. So you could just right click from here for a one shot kill. And if they just like uh, all push out and flash you, you could just like, you could get away safely. Opposed to that if you're sitting like close like this or like this, if they flash and they all push out, you're like kind of dead. There's not much things you could do, but this is just like a lot safer. The other spot that's pretty good is actually updrafting on top of this thing before the round starts because the barrier goes across like this. So this, it doesn't really matter if you're on a save or not. This is like a good, like all rounder. You can just hold it right here. If you want to walk up and well, they're just going to swing out. And most of the time they're just going to, they're not going to be looking up here. They're obviously going to be just like holding like this uh, and you get a free kill and you could just, after you get a kill like this, you could just dash away like, like into garage window, like perfectly. And you can just play with your team. So for C, I generally don't like going C unless I have an op. And in that case, I like going on these logs and then getting on top of this box without using an updraft. So like this, and you could just hold T log from here. So how I did that was I just went on the logs and I was like hovering in the air. And as I was about to hit this the box, I just started spamming crouch. So it should look like this. So from here, you could glide around and make it on top of this box too. And this is just good because you don't have to invest into updrafts as much. So when I'm playing up here, what I like doing is I just holding an off angle kind of to the side. Because if you play too close to the right, they could just breach flash this and like, they're gonna be kind of aiming up here sometimes. But if you hold farther to the left, they're not gonna be looking up here the whole time. So what I mean that is that if they're swinging right here, they're gonna clear left side, they're gonna clear here, and then they might look up here, 
but they're not gonna walk out holding this right they're, they're just gonna look they're just gonna hold this spot right here for anybody to peek and at this point your, your body's gonna be like right here and you're gonna get they're not gonna see you until they swing like this far and then you take a shot on them take a free kill so from up here once i get a kill i could just fall back and then i could re-peek again and i still have my dash for the second shot so i could fall back and play with my team and if you hit both shots you should be at uh, 5v3 if they're pushing long it should be a pretty easy retake if you want you could just uh like smoke like this if you, want, you can smoke right here and then you could clear back sight make sure nobody's here if you want you could get up here and just hold like long if so your teammates could talk the bomb if they swing out you just get a kill and run around so pretty easy to retake as well also i want to mention that holding this angle is also really good because it's like pretty close up you could you, if you want you could even push up right here but this is only if you're like really confident with an op and if they don't have like a phoenix flash because if they do then you're kind of dead if you, if you don't see them pushing and you're playing c if you want you can actually push up i i've done that a lot of times so for the old spots there's a few the first one is on a long over here if you just updraft you could see long pretty clearly with just one updraft uh you can get a kill most of the time if they're holding it and if, uh, you can see them if they're grabbing orb as well but if you're pushing onto side further another good one is on top of this box right here you could either use one updraft and see into heaven or what you could do is you could use two updrafts and with two updrafts you could actually see uh, ct and you could kind of see backside so yeah, that's what i recommend doing for b a lot of players double updraft from this grass uh garden thing and this is not good because uh you, their opponents could hear two updrafts and it kind of takes a long time they could pre-aim it you could die so what's better is before the round starts you could updraft on top of this box and once the round actually starts you could only need to use one updraft and you could see them like instantly and this also is good because you could see the right side like right here as opposed to this one you're kind of just uh you can only see the left side really so i recommend uh updrafting from here instead so for c if you want you can just actually be up across because your circle is like uh, not far enough for them to hear you and you just be hop across and get on top of this fence thing and you could run up and double updraft right here and you could actually see back sight and if anybody is uh, setting default you just get a free kill on them and this is pretty good because most of the time when people are holding this they're going to be holding like this and they're not going to expect somebody to uh, be all the way up here so it's like a, usually a free kill so for defense one is really common is on top of this box you could double updraft and clear anybody hell or anybody default the only problem is that people usually look up here once they hear updraft so what's better is if you ask a sova to dart back sight right here because they'll be looking at the dart to destroy it and then you could just get a free kill and it's also pretty good if they have phoenix flash and if your sky flashes like just basically create distractions so they aren't looking up here and you can get a, a pretty easy kill on anybody's site for b um i just like updrafting across to clear anybody mid and uh, you don't want to stand still while doing it you don't want to just hover in the air like this because it's pretty easy for them to kill you opposed to if you're strafing it's a lot harder for them to uh, hit you for garage and c i generally just like holding close with a right click like pushing the garage i can right click right here they could swing a right click right here maybe right here as well i don't really like going updraft right here because most of the time they'll kill you because you're just in the air like you're a, kind of like a sitting duck it's not hard for them to hit the shot so most of the time i just go for, go for right clicks on seaside and uh, same with the garage so this is my haven guide for jet i hope this guide was useful if it was then consider subscribing uh, it really means a lot to me and comment down below what map you guys want next and that's all i have today peace